What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record arpeggio inside the MPC software. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a keyboard or something that uh, has an arpeggio on it, if you want to record arpeggio uh, live, okay? So I have a keyboard called a Kai MPK Mini 3. It has an arpeggio button, it has an on-off switch, and a tap tempo. And um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you go inside your MPC software. Let me bring my mic with me around here. Hold on a second. Go into your MPC software. Go to Preferences. And under where it says MIDI Sync, where your keyboard is, make sure you have Control on, Track on. Under input ports and under output ports, make sure your sync is on and your track is on. That way I know everything works pretty much. Close it out. Now I'm going to find a plugin. And I have a bunch of plugins, but I'm going to use one that comes with the MPC software that you, so that you can follow me on this joint. All right. The first thing you want to do. And this is specifically for a Kai MPK controller owners. Because I know you have a similar setup to mine with the arpeggio on and off switch and tap tempo. This will work for you if you do not have the same keyboard also. You may just have to turn your button on, turn your arpeggio on, and hit keys. And I'll, I'll show you what you need to do next. Don't worry. Okay, but if you have an Akai MPK Mini, or an Akai MPK of any sort, the first thing you want to do is hold down a note repeat on your keyboard. Hold down a note repeat on your keyboard. And on if you have an Akai MPK Mini 3, there's a knob on the bottom, second knob, that says Sync. Make sure you turn that until it says external, EXT, on the um, screen. Once you do that, you're good to go. Okay? Let go of the note repeat. Next thing you want to do is find the sound you want to use. Okay? So, I'm using a hype plugin by, you know, I'm using the hype plugin that comes with the MPC software. And I'm going to use the plug-in, go to Pluck Hard, and go to Elastic. Okay? So, before you turn your arpeggio on, you can play your keyboard however you want, right? But if I turn my arpeggio on, which I'm about to do right now, so now my arpeggio is on, you could probably hear through the mic that I'm playing the keys, but there's nothing playing. That's because when we turn the, thing, uh, the sync on to external, you now have to have the MPC software playing before you hear anything if your arpeggio is on. So my arpeggio is on, you're not hearing anything even though I'm playing the keys. But when I hit the play button, and just to show you what's syncing up with the tempo, I'm at 93 beats a minute. I'm gonna turn my metronome on. Okay, so you now you see my arpeggio is in sync with the software. All right. So let's do something real quick. All right. So I'm going to just play two chords. Man, I just, my fingers are too big for this. 
There we go. So, so for the first, for the first bar, I'm gonna play a chord, and the second bar, I'm gonna play a chord. It's gonna be a G chord to an F chord, G seven to a F seven major. So now that the the everything is synced up, if I hit record and play. comes the F major. Oh, sorry, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Just like that, you got a little little cook-up going. Let me turn my headphones down. Just like that, you know, you can have something popping. Back off. Let's go back to the keyboard track. And that was just me holding the chords down. That was me just holding the chords down. Excuse me. That was me just holding the chords down, and the NPC software recognized it, and you know plays it in sync and records it in sync. So, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments what I could do better, or let me know what you think of the video. Please like, comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet click the notification bell if it's your first time here make sure you go get my free drum kit below it's the first link in the description below make sure you go grab that it's a free drum kit if you haven't grabbed that yet also below if you need more sounds and more loops or more uh, drum kits uh sound packs of any sorts go to uh, my loud uh go to my loop cloud link in the description below and go grab yourself some uh, loop plaques real quick. Also, if you want to see what my studio looks like, I left a bunch of links in Amazon. Affiliate links below. You can check out what my studio looks like and everything in it. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. How to record arpeggio inside your MPC software. And I'm out. Peace.